Ground Floor is a platform where you get to invest in fix and flips. Someone wants to buy a property, they want to fix it and flip it, obviously. So they can go to Ground Floor for the funding, and you get to be that funding to invest in these fix and flips. So I'm going to show you how I would pick a property, and I'm going to go ahead and invest $200 in that property. So I'm going to spend $200, you guys, to show you a tutorial on how I would pick a property. First, my name is Brian Johnson. I'm a real estate broker. I've been a broker since 1991. I'm also in property management, and I have this channel where I'm showing people how to invest small dollar amounts into real estate. So if you've got a few hundred thousand dollars to invest, you can probably just go ahead and go out and buy a property. But if you have a lot less money, maybe a thousand dollars or hundreds of dollars, but you still want to invest maybe as some sort of an, a savings account, but you want a better return than the typical savings account, then you can look at some of these platforms that I review on my channel. Now, I do like ground floor because I like the idea of investing in one or two properties instead of like a REIT where you're investing in a whole basket of properties. But this comes with a little risk because you have, you have to trust the investor and they probably, they may or may not have experience. So you're sort of investing in kind of a riskier situation. So don't necessarily take my advice as rock solid. Like I'm going to do what Brian does on his channel. I want you to do your own research, but I'm going to show you how I would look at these properties. Now, here we are, and you can see up here, I've put $200 into my investor account. I blocked out my uh, little account number there. And let's just go ahead and look down. So if I'm looking at these properties, here's the new releases. And then as you go down further, you've got the loans that are funding. And it shows you, let's go up again right here. And it shows you a little information. This is the rate of return. Like this top one is 12.5%. Let me go over a little further to the left. They give it a C rating. Here's the address. That's the rate of return that they're offering to us. It has 16 and a half months is the remaining term on this. That's just sort of the estimate, the term that they set up with the investor, but it could go quicker. There's the valuation, the 59% of the after repair value. There's no payments on these properties. This is the payments are always deferred. You get paid when the property sells at the end. So you don't get monthly payments. So it's not like lofty or something where you're getting monthly income from tenants, there are, are not going to be any tenants. These are just flips. This one currently, and again, we're just going across the top here. This top one here has 1,202 investors. The loan amount is $149,000. Remaining is $74,000. And the minimum investment is $10. So you guys, I've been scrolling through these and I've looked actually at each one of these properties. So let me show you here. This one right here, this one's in Jacksonville, Florida. They give it a B rating. 10% projected term is one year. The loan to actual, the, the basically the ARV, the projected valuation of the project after completion of the proposed repairs. The remaining amount that they're trying to fund is $21,000 and it has 3,330 investors currently. It's a purchase and renovation. Ground floor is in first position lien. So that's us if we invest. The total loan amount, is basically that's how much they're raising is $156,000. And the repayment term is a balloon payment, principal and interest returned on repayment due at maturity. So here's a financial overview of the whole property $156,000. That's us investing. In this case, well, I'll show you this in a second. Ground floor has already fronted the money. Then we're kind of backfilling it. I think this is going to be a second lien right here for $12,000. And then the, this is how much equities in the project based on down here, they have an appraisal as completed. So they have a full appraisal that says when this property is completely done, the appraiser said it's going to be worth $255,000. So that's sort of the profit or the after, that's sort of what the, that the flipper is hoping to make. And then you've got these grade factors over here. The loan to ARV score is a four out of 10. The quality of the valuation, this is this down here, since it's certified appraisal, four out of four. Skin in the game is zero. This investor or the person that's doing the flip has no money in it. So basically he used ground floor to buy, not to buy this property, but I, I don't think they bought it with this, but there's not any of his own money in this game. Location is a four out of eight. And then borrow's experience is a five out of five. That's good. Borrower commitment is a one out of one. And this means right here, Zero means the borrower has a part-time commitment. One means the borrower has a full-time commitment. What does that exactly mean? I think it means the borrower's borrower has, maybe he doesn't have a job other than this. He's going at it full-time. 
I don't really know how much I trust that. So, you know, property description, there it is on the map. I'm going to get to more research here on this. Here's a picture. There's little risk factors, kind of, you know, it's just sort of like they're, it's a little bit of the numbers, but they're just sort of, it's a cover your ass type statement down here. This is what I'm interested in, in down here. The borrower summary is EP remodeling. They have um, down here, they've done 16. So this is what I was looking for down here. This information at the top is not verified because it doesn't have this blue dot. Right here it says it if it has a blue star, um, it's verified, but the information below is not verified. So it's just sort of what the borrower, the investor supplied to them, the information that he has 10 completed projects. And that doesn't have to be ground floor. I looked them up on ground floor. I looked at all the available properties. I didn't see any that this person had going currently. Going down here, it says they've funded 16 through ground floor. So I kind of like that. I saw that this person had a lot of, it, 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 a lot of experience going in but he's repaid 11 out of 16. So that's kind of, I, okay. So he's obviously experienced and not everyone's going to hit it out of the ballpark on the first one, but I couldn't find any other properties on the platform that he was currently involved in. So it says that it looks like basically he's got five out. This is one that I'm looking at and he's got four more hanging out there somewhere. It says he does 10 projects a year and his on-time repayment is 73%. Yeah, that's a, that's, I don't like that that much. I like the fact that he does he's done 16, but this right here is 73%. Not so sure about that. If I pull it up on Zillow, you're going to get some information here. You know, here you can see it sold for $115,000, which matches Let's go back up here. It's matching, well, it's not matching. It's he borrowed 100 so he looks like he bought it for 115 and he borrowed 156 to do the fix up, so that's fair enough. Um the appraiser gets it, gives it a 255 when the project's complete. Now, Zillow, I don't like Zillow on their, um, I just don't like Zillow, you guys, on their valuation. As a real estate broker, I can tell you that we laugh at Zillow all the time. When our clients bring our, their Zestimate, if you're listing the property, we all know the Zestimates are wildly off. I really do prefer Homes.com. So here it is on Homes.com. Homes.com Pro, this is the pro version because I'm a broker. So it's a little more information about the properties. Picture here makes it look a, look a little bit sketchy. Going down, there's some information down here I wanted to show you guys. It's a pretty high crime area, an 8 out of 10. And also Homes Pro is giving it $131,000 valuation currently. The thing I like the best about Homes.com homes is when you scroll down on the property, it gives you multiple valuations down here. One by Collateral Analytics, Black Knight. First American and Quantarium. Now, the reason that I like this is Black Knight Financial has a very good reputation in the community for doing valuations. They really, really do. I know that a lot of banks use Black Knight Financial. I know that in my market, our MLS is run by Black Knight Financial. So when I pull property valuations on the, there's a program I use called HomeBot. And HomeBot is a valuation that I sign my clients up for. And they get basically this dashboard every month. They get to you know, track the valuation of their property. And I know that Black Knight Financial that uses that also pulls that information directly from the MLS. And that's really important. They're giving it a value of $125,000. So, the, But that's his current value. They're estimating this, bringing up again, this appraiser says it's going to be worth two fifty five. dollars Now, one thing I don't like, there's two things that discount this property for me. The investor has no skin in the game, so none of his own money. Even though he has experience doing 16 and 11 haven't been, have been repaid, on time, he's at 73% on time payment. So if there were no other ones to look at, I would consider this one. But honestly, he's in Florida, and Florida is a... Well, now this one, I'll go against this rule in the future property. But Florida is a judicial foreclosure state. So if this goes underwater, judicial foreclosure states take a long time to basically to get it back. So this go to the, so that's that one. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I don't like this one that much for this video. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so here's another one. Let's go to the top right here. So this one's in Chicago, 12.5% return, 21 months. That's the projected time it's going to take them to do it. A pretty low ARV. I, I like this. 
There's 25 days. They're trying to raise $74,000. There's 1,202 investors. This, I what I like about this one right here is see right here, $85,000. That's the skin in the game that this investor has in it. Bought it for $90,000. Looks like he has 85 into it. He borrows 149. Then he has a 15,000, hopefully in the equity here with $250,000 is the appraised value when he's done. This is his first one. So this guy, there's a little bit of risk. Melvin and Catherine LLC. So we're kind of hoping that Melvin can get this done. And this is his only one. So at least he doesn't have a negative history. Now, I don't mind taking chances on new people. I really don't. I've been new. Obviously, everyone's new when they start something. I was a new investor when I was very young, trying to do something similar to this. And I did okay. And this guy just might do okay. This is on the Homes Pro. Again, I was telling you about Homes Pro. So they give it the value currently right now at 279. Properties in this area are 63 to 657. So that's interesting. A lot of variation there. There it is on the map. I don't know anything about this area, you guys. So that's kind of an issue. But on under these... On all these platforms that I review, unless you live in the area, you just have to just kind of make some assumptions and hope it's okay. Now, it is a little bit high on the crime, 7 out of 10, so that's there. It is somewhat bikeable. With, in the bikeable, I'd like a better transit for a, you know, this might be a high a rental area. Now, there's this property value recently going up and up and up and down a little bit in 23, probably because of its condition. The assessed values down here mean nothing to me. Don't worry about assessed values. Now, properties, similar properties in this area, look, it, they pulled were 292, 285, 300, 310, similar tall, tall, narrow buildings. So it looks like it's kind of similar to the area. I kind of like that. The mortgage history, it looks like there was an FHA mortgage back in the summer on 714 for 149, which is the numbers that match. And then the same day, there was a quit claim deed. I don't know this. I'm, I'm going to make a guess here, but I'm guessing that he bought it with an FHA mortgage and then basically came in with ground floor and paid that off for 149. Let's go back and look at that again. So that matches this 149. I'm not really sure he's borrowing that much against it. That's the, that's basically now the first lien is 149. That would match sort of his purchase price, borrowing that back first lien. This these numbers don't match up as well as I would hope. But again, we this it's the best we can go by. Okay, here's another one. I kind of like this one at first. It's in Florida. Again, yeah, there's that whole, actually, Florida. Yeah, it's a, like I said, judicial foreclosure state. This guy has 27,000 of his own skin in the game. Then he borrows 269 from ground floor. He's going to get a second for 21. Final repair after repair value is $420,000. Okay. I liked this one going into it, actually, you guys. Um, I liked this right here. I like this equity, sort of an equity type position. That's how much he was hoping to make for 420 off the appraisal. That's great. Going down to the bottom. Again, he's a first time guy. It says he's done two projects, but only one through ground floor. Maybe so he's done another one. So this is kind of a newer guy. And I pull it up here on homes.com and look what I see on homes.com. It's already listed and he's got it listed for 464. So you guys, this is a completed project. He's already now got it on the market, so I can't invest in it. I was going to pick this one to invest in. I just kind of liked the house itself. I, I liked the numbers that he had skin in the game right here, and I liked this profit built in. My floor to home solutions, really, if honestly, I was hoping that there was going to be another one by this guy on the platform. I would have really seriously looked at this. But because of the fact that it's always already on the market, you guys, I'm not going to do it because he's going to sell out. This thing's going to cash out. He has a projected term of 12 months. But again, we if he started this back a few months ago, he got this done pretty quick. So he's done. That one's done. I'm taking this one out also. Now, the other one that I pulled out was in Springfield, Missouri. I'm looking over here at my judicial versus non-judicial foreclosure states. And I liked this one because it is in Missouri, which is a non-judicial foreclosure state, meaning if it has to be taken back, and sold in foreclosure. It happens a lot quicker. 10% is the rate of return for 15 months. Remaining them out, they're looking to finance is $18,000. And there's a thousand, roughly a thousand investors. Now, this investor has 35 into it and he's borrowing 79. But look at this right here. I mean, this is really tight. The after repair value says 115,000. And the projected costs are 114. I don't like that right there, you guys. That one, that doesn't feel good. It says he's done two investors without borders. It says he's done two through or through ground floor. He hasn't repaid either of them back, but he's not late yet. 
Says he does four a year, but that doesn't, it looks like only two through ground floor, two he's done on his own. I don't know if I trust this information that's not verified. This one, it you know, it's okay. Just kind of looking at, do I feel good taking the chance on this number right here? Because if he has to sell, well, this pulled it up right here. Here it is on homes.com. Its current value is $95,000. You can see a picture of it right there. And this is what scares me about this property. Homes.com gives it a value of $95,000. He's got, hopefully when it's done, they're giving it a 115 appraised value. I don't think there's enough room here for this guy to sell this property with closing costs. If he's not listed, if he's going to sell it himself for sale by owner, that makes me nervous. He's If he's going to list it, really your closing cost right after you pay commission is going to be around 8% minimum. Closing cost, if not closer to 10%, depends on depends on a lot of different factors. This Even if we gave him an 8% closing cost factor, I don't think he's getting out of this property, you guys. So I'm I'm because of this, I'm going to get out of this one, which brings me back to this guy right here. 4041 West End Avenue in Chicago with a 12.5% return. It's kind of long, far out there, 21 months, but that doesn't mean he can't close it earlier or sell it and close it earlier than that and what i again i'm going back to this you guys he's got a lot of his own money in this one a lot of his own money with maybe a projected fifteen thousand dollar profit at 250 but we don't know what it's going to be in two years i really do think the market is going to keep going up for the next couple of years i just did a market report on my channel where i think unless we have an overall crash of every single thing in the economy economy because of the low inventory numbers on real estate, we're going to see pricing keep going up over the next couple of years. So he, this could be 260, 270 for getting out of it. So this is the property that I am going to pick. I'm going to invest now in this property. I am going to invest my $200 tutorial investment. I authorize ground floor to pull it out of my investment account. I agree to the terms. I am going to complete my commitment. There we go. That's it. Well, my commitment is processing success. We've enqueued your, enqueued. We've enqueued. <laughs> that's a smart person word. I don't even know if that's a word. Okay. So they've put me in line for purchase. Please check your inbox for a confirmation email. So I put 200 bucks, you guys, into this. And here's my confirmation email, you guys. Congratulations. You have successfully invested in the loan for 4041 West 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 end avenue oh boy that's a west west end that's sketchy it's like people that have two first names like keith david that always makes me a little nervous when people have two first names for their entire name 4041 west west avenue okay whatever that doesn't matter 12 and a half percent you guys i'm going to track this investment for you guys over the next let's say years i keep making videos we're going to watch this one and i think this is a great platform i think this is a really good platform you guys I like it enough just to make a tutorial. I spent $200 on this tutorial. Now, if you want to look at other platforms that I've reviewed on this on this channel, I like Lofty for fractionalized real estate and what they're doing with the new liquidity pool that just got announced where you can basically use Algorand and USDC and invest in, invest in a liquidity pool. I'll do more information about that coming up. But you guys, this is a great time to look at some of these investments. I like what, what's coming on in real estate over the next few years because honestly, you guys, we aren't building enough houses in this country. The population is going up. The um, millennials, the 33-year-old group of age of first-time buyers, we're just getting at the beginning of that group. They're going to be pushing into first-time buyers in this market, so it's going to keep prices keep going up. And if we see interest rates going down in the next year, which it kind of looks like we are, there's a lot of buyers in the market just sitting on the sidelines waiting to come in and purchase. Now, if you would like to watch my video where I do a full market report on the U.S. market coming up in the next year, click on this link right here.